Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Customer States, what? Customer States, uh, the front end is wobbling and the brakes are making noise. And while you're there, perform multi point inspection. Well, say no more. So, we're looking around. Oh, wait, we got a little Chia Pet going on there. All right, we're going to have to recommend uh, a battery service. I already topped off the washer fluid. Already check the oil, everything is at level. Coolant, it's a little low, but we'll give that a top off. So that's not that bad. Engine air filter, eh, it's caution. We'll uh, give them a price on it and let them decide if they want it. So that goes uh, the same for the cabin air filter. Brake fluid, well, it is a little low. Actually, it's a little high. It's not low at all. The light was deceiving me. All right, you know what comes next. Let's take it up top. So now that we have taken it up top, we could see, oh, we got a little bit of damage right over here. Not that bad. We got a little bit of damage over here as well. Not that bad. Tires, on the other hand, our front tires are guts. We got cords showing on this one. And then the driver's side is zooey. We, we're, we're bald on the inside, but the outside, let's look at that sweet tire action. Let's, you're not supposed to see the freaking insides of the tire. Yeah. So, customer was right. They were feeling a wobble. This is the weevil. That's the wobble. Let's go a little further. Because, you know, the further we go back, we didn't even make it back yet. We're in, we're in flavor country, guys. Look at this exhaust. That hardware, that hardware is in crisis. It's not sure. Look at that. It just, you have just witnessed the transformation, ladies and gentlemen. It went from a 14 millimeter to like an 11 and a half. Let me know in the comments what the transition to SAE is because my entire toolbox is metric. Let's go a little further back. Rear tires, yep. We got abnormal wear happening on the inside and outside edges. So we're going to recommend four tires in an alignment. <clears throat> Although, I am a little worried. That guy looks like it hasn't moved in a while. <clears throat> this one looks worse. Let me change the lighting. Maybe the lighting will help you guys. Oh uh, yeah. No, we'll leave it off. Yeah. Look at the look at that. That's bad. Now for the brakes. Let's get to the brakes. This side is about one millimeter. Which we know we want to replace. But then when we go to the driver's side, oh no, excuse me, when we get to the passenger side, we could see we got the Gugat strip. This side went metal to metal. We already compressed the pistons. We already made sure the pins are loose. So we just know they let it go. And here's some more flavor. Well, oh wow, that's some that's some chunky chips. That's some chunky flavor right there. Ooh wait. All right, so we're gonna recommend four tires, full alignment. Uh, rear brakes, pads and rotors, of course. And while we're there, we'll service the parking brake. And uh, brake fluid looked a little green, so uh, I'll look through the history. And if it has, if it's been done within the two years, I won't recommend it. But if it's been longer than two years, I'm gonna recommend a brake fluid exchange as well. And uh, yeah, we're gonna let them know about this exhaust that's in crisis. And it's not leaking yet. It is not leaking yet. So I'm just gonna caution it. I'm not gonna try and sell them anything. But I'm gonna let them know that uh, yeah. <laughs> they're ugly all right guys if you don't know what to do yet please like subscribe hit that bell notification for further content and don't let your tires get this far it's dangerous for everybody on the road for me and you I don't even want to drive in front of you I don't even want to drive behind you 